Matt Helm is not available. If you will leave a message, start now. Is this a recording? No, this is just a shell. The real Matt Helm doesn't take over the body till after nine. Oh, please. I'm Maggie Gantry. I was told I could... I could find my lawyer at this number. Oh, well, you want Kronsky. Now, hold on. Hey, Kronsky. Hey, Kronsky, it's for you. Yay. Kronsky here. Maggie? Hey, 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 slow it down, lay it out. That sounds terrible. Well, look, you haven't done anything wrong, so they're not going to hold you. Hmm, okay. I'll be right over. Uh, it'll be about a half an hour. Bye. Okay, rise and shine, working girl needs a ride. Hey. Voila, madame. Thanks for the ride to the gallery. Oh, it was my pleasure. after I'm through with Maggie's problem. Maggie doesn't have any problem. It's the guy who got the nut that has it. Gerald Tabor's problems all went up in the explosion. Tabor? Private detective? I don't know. Would he be a friend of yours, Matt? Fine. Same line of work. Do you mind if I just leave? Yeah, come on. What else do you want me to say? Well, I'm just having a little trouble figuring out why they didn't kill you, Miss Gantry. I don't know. They didn't tell me anything. I couldn't even see their faces. They wore gas masks. They just drove up, fired near me, and drove away. Well, how'd they miss? I mean, less than ten feet away, shooting automatic weapons. And you're shooting blind, Sergeant. And what are you delivering? Legal points you've got amnesia about. Claire Kronsky, Miss Gantry's lawyer, and you are. Sergeant Alley James, Sergeant Fred Hanrahan. Just a few more questions for your client, and we're through. You're through now. Unless you want to ask your questions in your division commander's office, with me present, or lay a charge. All she has to do is sign this, then she can go. Let me see what you're signing, Mac. Now, let's everybody just be cool. We didn't tell the news people she was here. We're trying to protect her. Well, what are you doing here, Helm? Hey, a good morning to you, too, Allie. Yes, I'm feeling very well, thank you. And I hope your ulcers have lit up. How's the light, Fred? I asked you a simple question. You know? Allie, he's off. He came in with Miss Kronsky. Is he your animal? No, she's not my client. Heard a fellow working my trade died the hard way. Professional curiosity, you know how it is. Yeah, I do. Are you running a case with Tabor? Mm -mm, no connection. Except some poker games. Jerry always played a straight hand. It's gonna be missed. Well, he must have been working some case. And we'll go through his stuff, we connect and find out you're holding out, we'll pull your license. Now, first off, Jerry carried his cases in his head. So you're not gonna find any paper. Second, my lawyer will explain what I do for a living. You can sign it, Mag. Sergeant James, if you threaten Mr. Helm again with the loss of his license, for no cause, you're gonna be wearing your badge pinned where the sun will never find it. I'm sorry I couldn't help. Give the wife my best, Fred. As a matter of fact, give her your best. <laughs> Find the Elsa, Sergeant. You all right now? Thanks. It was awful. I have to get over to the courthouse. What about you? I'm supposed to start rehearsals for a new picture, but I can't today. I'll call the studio for you. Yeah, me. you'll need a ride home. 
Incidentally, my name is Matt Helm. My car is just over there. Oh, I, I couldn't impose, really. Waking me up, that was imposing. Driving you home, that's my pleasure. Oh, Devil, is that you? Yes. How's it going? Being driven off by a man in a car registered in the name of Matt Helm. I'm following. Matt Helm, huh? Break off, Devil. Let him go. There's no problem staying on the tail, Mr. Payne. I know. Helm is, was, or used to be at least a professional. Come on home. Professional, Mr. Payne? Yeah. He used to belong to one of the intelligence organizations. We did business once. Are you sure he's no longer with him? Well, that's easily found out, isn't it, champion? Yes, sir. The question, whatever Helm is, what's he doing with Maggie? She won't quit. We should have dragged her out with Tabor. Now, there's no mortars on this shipping list. It could be just a loss of papers. Why don't you go and find out? Hey, Champion, why don't you find out if Helm is still with the agency? Where is Jerry Tabor meeting you? I had nothing to do with him. Jerry wouldn't be in the stadium at dawn unless it was to meet someone. You were the only one there, so you're the one he went to meet. It's my fault. I hired him. I didn't know whether to go on. Now you're here. I leave for hire like Jerry. Not to die like Jerry. Maybe the rest is okay. Maybe. Tell me the rest. Captain Earl Gantry, my father. Oh. He sent me that in 52, when I was six years old. He was killed a year later. I'm sorry to hear that. That's what happens when they play war. He was a hundred miles from the front when his jeep was hit by an anti-tank rocket. My father was murdered by one of his own sergeants. Name, Bryce Redfield. Murdered? Very heavy word. Investigators had notified my father that supplies from his quartermaster company were turning up in the black market. My father swore to fine and send those responsible to prison. He was that kind of man. And that's why Redfield killed him? Yes. They found a report my father had started, listing Sergeant Redfield's black market operations. Well, now, the sergeant, what, um, what was done to him? Nothing. He vanished. They say he bought plastic surgery. New face, new background, new life. I didn't have much money till a few months ago. With my first big paycheck, I hired Gerald Tabor to find that man. Jerry finds Sergeant Redfield. There's a man in this city called Harry Payne. Harry? He deals in surplus material? That Harry Payne? Yes. Jerry thought that Harry Payne is Bryce Redfield. How do you know him? Well, I did business with him once upon a time. He was Harry Payne then, he's Harry Payne now. With plastic surgery, it must be connected. That's why they killed Jerry Table. The gunman used all the names. Tabor, Redfield, Earl Gantry. They said they'd kill me if I didn't back off. But you didn't say that at the police station. I was afraid to then. But I'm all right now. Please. Find the man that killed my father. Tell Harry Payne. 
saying that Matt Helm is here to see him. One moment, please. Please drive up. Take the path on the right side of the house. Mr. Payne's on the tennis court. He's behind the pool house. Sorry, honey, you walked right into it. Hey, you all right? Leave me alone. Come here. You did that on purpose. You can't stand to see me winning a point. Oh, come on. It was an accident. Eh? You know how excited I get when I play with you. Why are you like that, Harry? A gentleman doesn't have to beat a girl to death. You knew I was no gent when you married me. And here's reference to my past. I don't know what I am, Matt. Oh, Harry's a bum, man. No one's ever denied his credentials as a rat. Is that what you wanted me to say, Harry? Someone who isn't afraid of you, Harry. How exciting. <laughs> I'm Alice. Harry's not going to introduce us now. Matt Hill. You're new. Harry had nothing like you in the old days. Were you an arms dealer, Matt? He worked for a branch of intelligence called the Machine, specialized in covert operations. How exciting. <laughs> you better go and change. I'll take care of Mr. Helm. Oh, dear, the way Harry says that, I'm sure I'll never see you again. Well, I told you it was a rat. <laughs> nice girl, Harry. A little young for you, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> She's 20, Matt, 20. 20? What do you want? I oh, yes, a little business. There's a guy the machine is interested in. You don't work for the agency anymore. Well, how would you know that, Harry? I heard. You heard? Mm -hmm. Who's in, who's out? That kind of information isn't posted on billboards. I hear. I'm on the inside. No, you're not on the inside, Harry. You're a tool. The machine used you sometime. But a tool doesn't get told. It just gets used, that's all. What do you want, Matt? Yeah, well, uh, well, we need a line on this character. He's into the arms run, working the Orient. Your neck of the woods. What's this? Well, forget her. It's the guy we need the information about. What kind of picture is this? Well, we, listen, we had to have the guy sit for a photo, and we didn't know what to do, so we just set him up. It's a setup. I never saw this acrobat before. What's he supposed to be handling? And I don't mean what's in the picture. Well, if you don't know who he is, then... Let's just forget that I came here, okay? Right. Oh, there's a loose thread on your collar. Excuse me. Well, I just, I just want to get it. What's going on? Well, you just What's, loose, loose. What's going on? Here? <laughs> Dogs, Harry. The upright ones. 
not him, champion. It's that captain. He's over there in the brush. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry I saved your life, Harry, but I thought the guy was shooting at me. Could you get the hell out of here, man? You bring me nothing but grief. Uh, one other thing, Harry. That girl. She thinks you want to kill her. She's crazy. You don't even want to know who, huh? All right. Now, if anything happens to her, it'll happen to you. Yeah, uh, you're crazy, too. Now, that's a very good reason you don't want to forget what I just told you. Picking pockets again, huh, Fred? Get your butt off the desk, Matt. Allie comes in and sees you making yourself at home, he'll go wait. Now, for him, that's a short trip. Jerry Tabor's license. Anything that points? Nothing but blanks. Allie's out checking a gas credit slip copy we found in Tabor's pocket. Came from a station in the same neighborhood where Maggie Gantry lived. She said she didn't know him. Ah. Why do I bore you with a case you're not even connected to? Hey, guess which of my favorite officers I'm going to let put me in his debt? Artie Weinstock over in Bunker. Now, would I hurt your feelings by taking my business to strangers? Please do. Now, there's a picture. Take the fingerprints off it. Wire photo them to the hookup in D.C. at FBI headquarters, okay? Operator, I want Washington, D.C. Hey, come on. Charge it to Matt Helm, H47230. That's right. I want 1703351100. Right? Somebody in the spy game still takes your calls, huh? Hello, Charles Danbury? Charles Danbury, please. Oh, for crying out loud. Well, forget the photo. Just take the prints off it. Now, what's wrong with you bringing something like this to me? Huh? I needed a picture that, the, that would grab the guy. I had to be sure he handled it. Hey, Charlie? Charlie, it's Matt Helm. Say, so listen, I'm with Sergeant Hanrahan of the LAPD. He's gonna wire some prints to the FBI. Now, pick them up and run a check against a couple of guys for me. Sergeant Bryce Redfield? Yeah, and who else? Harry Payne? Not the same Harry Payne, the arms dealer, the one we used in the Burma Circus? The very man. Check the prints against both names. I'll be home tonight and phone me a readout. Hey, wait a minute, buddy. Fun and game's okay, but uh, according to this firm, you're now Mr. Outside, you know that. I'm still on the emergency call-up list, so don't sweat it. Just phone me any time after 10. So you've met Mr. Thomas Macaulay III? Yes, I tried to call you. I didn't want to leave a message on your tape recorder. <laughs> Come on inside. Been losing big again? Those are the hazards of my life, sir. And as you well know, it leaves me vulnerable to your sirens. Mm. Tom was born rich, but blew it. Betting down. <laughs> it's a disease. You know, that if he had to go 24 hours without a wager, he'd be writhing on the carpet with the screaming meanies. How much would you care to lay against that? Ah, see what I mean? I phoned Tom to meet me. But what are you doing here, Maggie? That's Sergeant James. He came by. They said they found a gasoline receipt showing that Mr. Tabor was in my neighborhood. I know. Did you keep up the lie? I didn't know how to get out of it. Well, it's a mistake lying to the police. Did you find out anything? Well, this and that. For example, Payne has some lines in the skin right there. The kind plastic surgery would leave. See, he is Redfield. No, 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 no. Proves nothing. Except maybe he's trying to keep a young wife interested. Tom, I need some information. The usual fees prevail. Don't you ever hate this place? Like all royalty, Tom's blood is thin. But he's got contacts that know anything. Tom, a black man. Fella called him Captain. He's got a foreign style. Carries a machine gun. The doorman at my place there was a black man asking about me. Said he sounded foreign. Really? That could be him. He's after Harry Payne. I'd like a line on him. I have friends who can tap the ghetto wavelengths. They might help, but you are a little vague. Well, if I wasn't, I wouldn't need you. Also, Harry Payne in war surplus. Anything at all. 
that he's currently dealing with. I know a man in that line with a box at Santa Anita. Likes to talk. Then by all means, let him talk. That's funny, I was just asking about Quiet, you. Quiet, no one should be harmed. You will go with us? No. No harm if you go quietly, a rope to tie him. Uh, Captain, maybe we can make a deal. No talk, please. Oh, we have something in common. Neither of us has any love for Harry Payne. Mm. So you shot at me when I tried to kill him? I didn't know who you were trying to kill. Turn around. Put your hands behind your back. So's the captain. Tom, that's the fellow I need the line on. And incidentally, thanks for helping me out when I was made the move. Well, you know me, Matt. Physical is for heroes. And heroin. But who were those men? And what did they want of me? You have no idea? No. Nothing, Matt, I swear. You'll have to keep your eyes open. Tom will see you home. Oh, couldn't I stay here with you? Please, I don't want to stay alone. Lord knows I'm no help. You can say that again. To you, anyone? I could sleep here on the couch. You don't have to sleep here on the couch. I've got a bed. An extra. In a guest room. Really? <laughs> American processed cheese, American potatoes, and American pickles. Isn't that sweet? One for you, one for me. Thank you. Now, as I was saying, yeah. I was the understudy. Wait, let's have a little drink then first. I've already had two. That's all right. Have a third. Thank you. Voila. <laughs> oh, my story. Yeah, right. right. Um, I was the understudy. Right. Opening night. Yeah. Classic story. Give it to me. The star couldn't go on. She got sick. She got drunk. <laughs> and I always did, too, when they said, send the kid in. The kid, that was me. I just blacked out. And when I came to, yeah. I was on a stage. Yeah. And the audience were on their feet, yelling and clapping. Yeah. And to this day, I don't know how it went on. And that's how a star is born. Hi, Matt. Uh, oh, hi. Hello, Maggie. Uh, hello, Claire. <laughs> uh, you were right about Matt. Taking very good care of me. If she was attacked. Oh. Well, not by me. Uh, he's letting me sleep over tonight so that nothing happens to me. Oh, isn't that nice? I've got a spare bedroom. Well, you never told me that. Oh, they built it last week. Oh, they did? Mm hmm. Well, I've got a marvelous idea. There's safety in numbers. Why don't you and I sleep in the spare bedroom? Oh, I couldn't put you to all that trouble, Claire. Oh, no, no, it's no bother. I see you're wearing the new pajamas. I'll wear the old. Oh, but don't bother. I know where they are. Isn't that nice? We can all sleep tight.
little late, old buddy, but good move. Next time we play, I get to be the Indians. Well, your living room window was gone, so I let myself in. It's a five-hour flight from D.C. to here. Why did you make it? Information. Well, what happened? Did the machine fail to pay its telephone bill? It's about those fingerprints. They do not match those of Bryce Redfield. They're Harry Payne's. We got copies of the stuff on file on Payne and Redfield. You mean Harry Payne was a Coast Guard medic? Not in the Army? From 52 to 54, when he got into surplus war materials after his discharge. It's all there. Mind if I keep this? Sure, go ahead. Satisfied? Sure. But what do I do to tip the delivery boy? You don't want Maggie Gantry's trade, Matt. Really? Well, why don't I? Dominoes. You knock one over and they tumble all down the line. Well, the machine is running an operation through Harry Payne. Well, let's just say that your client is interested in Redfield, but she's causing some problems for some other people. Why don't you tell her he's gone over the other side? He died in Shangshun province three years ago. Word of honor. Word of honor? Who's Harry's house guest? Hmm? Look, Charlie, I caught a glimpse of someone through the window. And a young lady told me he makes war. Now, could our old friend Colonel Shawcross be in town? Close up shop, Matt. Forget the girl, forget it. Well, what about Jerry Tabor? Forget him, too? Why did you pull out, Matt? Straight. One day I got the feeling we were fighting battles that nobody really gave a damn about. Now, how did that happen? How did we become the bad guys, they became the good guys? Well, they didn't become the good guys, it's just... We started doing things out of habit, not principle. Like dogs, we fought for no reason, except that's what we were bred for. How many times have I saved your life, Matt? which is one less than I've done for you. But that was a long time ago, Charlie. Okay, and we haven't done much for each other lately, so here's something for old time's sake. Get out of it, Matt. Or they might send someone to look for you. If it's you, be careful. You just might find the old chap. History I see repeats. Man shouldn't change his luck too abruptly. Well, in your case, Winnie would probably give you a whiplash. What have you got for him, Tom? On your black captain, not much. There are some new people in town from those African colonies that were just turned loose. I have a friend looking into it. If I hear, you'll hear. Well, that's only fair. Harry Payne. This fellow in the arms trade, very chatty on the subject of Mr. Payne. Apparently, he's somewhat in the hot soup. Who's stirring the pot? It appears Mr. Payne was caught shipping arms to some people on the State Department's no-no list. Brewer has it. Harry is now on that list. That's funny. I heard it told the other way around. You know how they play these games. Everyone's throwing up dust and doing it with mirrors. And every cross is double, tripled, and quadrupled. Still. Now being shown on the closed circuit television system. Uh, what's he supposed to be doing to turn a dollar? Well, he's supposed to have gone into scrap surplus. Scrap? Like in junk? Like in the Tumamaru, an old freighter he bought over in Vietnam. For, for scrap. He had it sailed over here and tied up in San Pedro. Say, look here. 
scrap heap is in the next race. Now, that's what I call a 24 carat hunt. There goes the ring. Is that the lot? Now, just one more little thing. I was an officer in the Navy. On my way down here, I drove by San Pedro and glanced over at the Tomamaru. Mm hmm? And? Rides low in the water for an empty old scrap bin. Low? Very low. <laughs> something up in the fans. I feel very strongly about scrap. And put this down for me, Tom, will you? I like your hunch. Fort Shopman now. A float, one hopes. 
What model? World War II. The Greek conditioning. You'll be able to run the tanks right onto the beach. Assuming the crew aren't blind, it's easy. They'll use the three weeks sailing time for familiarization. Solid! Lovely spot for a shooting party surrounded by shells and ammo. A spark could blow us all to smithereens. Put it away. Call your friend out. The one who just tried to bring me. There's no one else here. Well, it's been a long time, Colonel. A long time. I don't read of a war, rebellion, or incident without looking for a mention of Colin Shawcross. Wars aren't healthy for children. Better left to professionals. You were a professional of sorts yourself when I last met you. Leave it up. Don't even go to reunions. But on instructions from the director, you'd still be subject to silence. Then this is an operation run by the machine. What it is, is no business of yours. I think you know that. Everybody tells me so much, and yet so little, that I get it kind of all mixed up. <laughs> well, no one told me, for example, that there were mercenaries involved under the leadership of the legendary Colonel Shawcross. Well, now you do know, you'll forget, right? Forget? What? I can't remember what we've been talking about. Have we been talking? I don't think so. Hmm. Is there anything else? Nothing that comes to mind. Drone? See that Mr. Helm has assistance to an exit. Oh, I know the way out. Thank you. Thank you. Put some distance from the ship before the, uh, before the accident. Where the hell did you get off? We playing World War II on a freeway? Hey, wait a second. Wait a second. I was Czechoslovakia. The other guys were Hitler. Now don't give me that. I got two stiffs in a morgue, a freeway full of terrified citizens, and junk metal that used to be vehicles. Plus, you're leading big holes out of the story you're telling. Well, there happens to be a client with some rights in a federal angle that I can't talk about oh. without checking it out. Don't give All right, me that. hold it down. Hold it down, you guys. Matt, you know a homicide's not like fixing a traffic ticket. Why are you trying to talk nice to wise guy here, Fred? I mean, he doesn't understand nice. All he understands is this. Uh, are you crazy? Uh, you sure that? Hitting a cop. I'll only pull your license, but I'll have you put in a slam. Who do I talk to around here? The division commander? 
Or perhaps it's better to take it up with the commissioner. We have enough witnesses as to your assault on Mr. Helm. I want his badge. Now, cut it out, Matt. You nail Ellie and it will cost you your license. I promise you. Nor can you threaten. Matt. Okay, okay, drop it, Kronsky. Leave that. It's part of a homicide investigation. You'll get it back later. I'll see you then, Fred. And Sergeant James, I want to thank you for your courtesy, tact, and good cheer. You're a credit to your profession. You take Maggie home. I want to have a little talk with these officers. Thanks, Counselor. Are you all right, Matt? Terrific. My car is right there. Would you wait for me just a moment? I won't be long. Thanks. <clears throat> you sure been busy, old buddy. Yeah, well, you know how it is, Charlie. Idle hands make mischief. How much do they know now? Nothing. But it'll leak anyway. It's full of holes. You're running too many careless people, Charlie. Well, you ought to know. You killed two of them. The director was really going to be very unhappy with you, Matt. I'm unhappy with the director. They were trying to kill me. They're afraid of what you know about the Toma Maru. They don't know you like I know you. And they never will now, will they? Sure. I don't want you walking into anything you don't know anything about. I want you to step aside from the case. Stall the girl. Put the case on the back burner. You can pick it up in a month. We'll be out of it by then. Tell me the connection. No, I can't do that. You know the rules. Rules? There never were any, Charlie. Well, I'll put that good word into the director, Matt. Maybe he'll have some mercy. Hey, Charlie, tell me something. You get so tired of it that it gets all mixed up for you? Tired of what? A lying, Charlie. The morning tonight, every minute of your working life lies, so that you no longer know which is the truth and which is the lie. Yeah, I get real tired of it. But you see, when it becomes your way of life, then what can a man do? Put in that word for me, Charlie. It'll make the angels sing. Tom, it's not really as cold as all that. Easy for you to say. Expected you'd be home earlier for dinner? Well, it was one of those days, Tommy, when food wasn't that important. You got anything interesting? Scrappy. Paid off 60 to 1. Your bet. Hey, that's terrific. Well, you must be ahead for the first time. Actually, I got a real hot tip just before post time. Ah, uh, naturally. Is that it? Uh, just one more little thing. Oh, Tommy's little things fall on my head like collapsing buildings. Uh, that black fellow, he... Uh, just a minute. Listen, Maggie, would you go upstairs and plug in the coffee for me? I'll be right up with you, okay? Thanks, hon. Hospital and morgue insurance? A friend of mine fixed me up a meet with them. Captain Seki Habatlu. Corporal's name I can't pronounce. I've convinced them that they can talk to you uh, like a truce. Well, like a truce, of course. Captain, what army? Guerrilla army. In what was a piece of colonial Africa. It will soon be the official army. You are not with Colonel Shawcross. Or so this man says. He is not. 
And on that note, I leave you gentlemen to your business. You'll send a check. If I'm still around, I'll even sign it. Let's talk, Captain. I think we can find common ground. Please. Maggie, we have some guests. Troops, relax. Uh, please make yourselves comfortable. So why are you after Harry Payne? Now, let me see. Let me see if I can put it together. Harry's supplying the arms. Colonel Shawcross supplies the mercenaries. And some force is manipulating a takeover inside your country. I am here to stop it at the source. And you figure killing Harry will stop it? Without arms, there is no war. Well, how did you figure to stop the arms by grabbing her? As a weapon against Harry. Why would he stop anything from me? I don't know. But he has warned his men they would die if they harmed you. That's exactly what's been worrying me. Why people around you have been killed, but they only try to scare you. What does it mean? Captain, did you visit Harry when he worked in the hospital? Are you serious? I've never met the man. No, of course not. But there was a cat. Excuse me? Where are you going? Phone calls. If I get the answers I expect, I may have something interesting for you. Ah, uh, yes, I want to call Washington, D.C. Special Area Net 1703-351-1100. Take care of Harry. I'm sorry, I must be set. Now, it's the arms that you're interested in. They're sitting right now in a ship named the Tomomaru, tied up at Pier 34 in San Pedro. It will be easy to ascertain the truth. Of course. You'll find it's all first-class equipment, enough to equip a small mobile strike force for a fast takeover. Not if it becomes obsolete. Thank you. Let's go, Maggie. Where? Well, you've hired two detectives. One of them has to finish the job. I don't think this will take very long. 
We have to be at an affair for starving African children. Oh. Promise you won't keep him too late. Oh, the idea of hanging on to Harry for any length of time ranks somewhere below keeping a yak in the living room. <laughs> he really doesn't like you, Harry. <laughs> well, what is it this time, Matt? More photos? As a matter of fact, yes. Oh, by the way, this is Maggie Gantry. Same name as that of Captain Earl Gantry. The man you killed. Is that why you're here? The same old junk. Oh, there's also the new junk to clean up. The deal that Maggie and me and Jerry Tabor kept getting in the way of. You've been a nuisance, home. I know. I know. Here you had your little army all ready to go. And Harry had his arms all bundled up for delivery. And my old buddy had ready the ground for you to land and take over. Have an apple, Charlie. I'll finish your drink. Well, come out. There's no forklift here to bring me with. Ah, oh, Matt. The machine is really going to be very cranky with you this time. Oh, Charlie, 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 come on. Come on, I talked to the director. He told me how disenchanted they become with the machine sector going off and starting things up on its own. He told me that. So the machine was dismantled, and you were in the process of being booted out. I understand. I'm just fiddling with the records to cover Harry's real background. Right? This operation was a private affair. I think you better get the hell out of here right now, Matt. I'm closing you down. What's a man gonna do? Tossed out in the alley, no funds, no future. Ah! Too sore, get him! Don't let him go! Don't let him go! Redfield. The sergeant was on to the black market operation, blowing the whistle on it. Not true. <sighs> Maggie, look. This photo. Supposedly Harry Payne in a Coast Guard hospital as a medical corpsman. That was actually taken in a private hospital after plastic surgery. Now look here. Look right there. That's Captain's Bars. Somebody goofed. They forgot to take his old uniform still hanging in the closet. That doesn't prove anything. Maggie, hasn't it occurred to you that everyone around you has been killed and you haven't been touched? He's your father. He framed Redfield, traded IDs and blew him up. So investigators kept looking for Sergeant Bryce Redfield, who supposedly bugged out while Earl Gantry was a dead hero. Especially to your daughter, Earl. Hello. Repeat that. It's on fire. They've cut the lines and the damn thing's floating out in the middle of the harbor. The Toma Maru's been sabotaged. We're out of business. I'm afraid I have to take my leave now, Colonel. You understand? Oh, by the way, Charlie, the director is sending some people to find you. Well, in that case, I'm more likely to end up with a bang than a whimper. <sighs> Too bad, old buddy. Too bad. I think I'll have another brandy. I haven't broken any laws. 
here. As yet. like a gentleman and he died hard. And it just won't do that someone doesn't pay the price on him. you have more need of? Oh, it's going to be one of those mornings, huh? Oh, no, look, Kronsky, really, it has nothing to do with you. It's, uh, it's just that sometimes a person has to be alone. You understand? Hmm? Sure, sure. Okay, that's enough alone. Let's go inside and fool around, huh? <laughs> the latest on the Arab-Israeli violence in the Gaza Strip. A talk with a former chef at the White House. Much more on CBS News Nightwatch, next.